Good day, Pinoy Clixers and Mixers. This is another unboxing video as part of our Marvel Hero Clicks X Men X of Swords unboxing series. And we are going to look at the dice and token pack. So, what are we waiting for? Let's jump into it. Okay, so we're gonna take a look first at the dice and token pack. And as the name suggests, it contains one, two, three, four, five, six tokens we can use and two dice for the game. We can see here at the front the characters illustrated in the dice. We have Solemn, Wolverine, Captain Britain, Magic, Apocalypse, and Cable. And then at the back, we have here some information about the product. Let's open this and see what we have. For our new Heroclix players, it's very important to know that aside from the figures, there are paraphernalias that you have to have or you need to have to play Heroclix. And the Dice and Pack token is one of them. So we can see here an illustration of Wolverine holding the Muramasa sword. Okay, that's epic. The tokens are standard size poker chips and they serve as indicators regarding the number of actions your character already has. So let's pull them out. And the dice, of course, are used for rolling, attacks, and other effects in relation to the game. Looking closely at the six-sided dice, we can see it's orange and the crossblades logo for the set represents the sixes on the dice. So let's try to roll one. Or good luck and we rolled seven <laughs> okay so that's a standard roll the tokens serve as markers to indicate how many actions a character already has so meaning uh, you can put the token under a character to indicate that this one has a has one action token and a second one to indicate that he already has two action tokens. But aside from that, recent sets have really utilized the tokens to include at the back some bystanders needed in the game. So let's take a look at the bystanders for the tokens that we have. Behind Solemn, we have the Captain Britain Corps bystander, which has eight charge, 10 blades close fangs, 17 toughness and two damage. Bystanders are usually generated by a character within the game. Most of the time, you cannot pay for them to be part of your force, but you have to pay for the points of the character that can generate them.
The second bystander is from the Wolverine token. And behind it, we have Jonathan. Jonathan has a charge of 8, an attack of 10 with Blade's Claws, 17 defense, and 1 damage, exploit weakness, and he is a tiny character as indicated by the damage symbol. We actually pulled the character that generates him, and that is Honey Badger. So you can see the character card themselves have the bystander. So you can either cut out the bystander if you get an extra of the figure, or you can purchase the dice and token pack to get a better, nicer proxy for the bystander. I highly recommend you get the dice and token pack instead of cutting out your card. So Jonathan is generated at the beginning of the game by Honey Batcher. Via her trait, I never leave him behind. Additionally, at the beginning of your turn, you may place Jonathan in a square adjacent to Honey Badger. And that's really strong because it means Jonathan can stay from afar with Honey Badger moving in closer to the enemy. And then at the beginning of your turn, place Jonathan close or adjacent to Honey Badger to perhaps do a follow-up attack. Honey Badger, for example, can attack with 11 and then exploit and then Badger can finish the enemy. So very, very strong uh, bystander for the set. The third dice and token is Magic. And behind her, we have the Nimrod bystander with 6 flight, 9 attack, 17 defense, 1 damage exploit, and he is autonomous, meaning he doesn't count against your total actions, and that's indicated by the hand icon. So most likely this will be generated by Nimrod. The fourth token is Cable, and behind him we have the Daemon Bystander with 8 charge, quick, invincible, and 3 exploit. So most likely this will be generated by one of the antagonists in the set. Okay, so there's a quick note here, Ament is on the march. So these are generic demons. The fifth token is Captain Britain. And behind her, we have the Flame Construct Bystander. With 6 movement, 10 attack poison, 16 senses, and 1 exploit and again this flame construct is autonomous so it can move attack on its own without counting against your total actions we actually pulled the figure that generates the bystander and that is pyro and he generates and he generates the bystander when he clears action tokens, he can generate it within range and line of fire and can generate a maximum of three bystanders. Via his trait, any way you want it, love. If you're able to generate three of this, that is definitely a big help to your army. Imagine three 
characters that can poison and can attack with penetrating damage of one and doesn't count against your actions. So you can all give them an attack and you still have three actions by default. So that can be a really strong bystander. And the final token is Apocalypse. Behind him, we have the Killer Robot. With 8 movement, 10 attack with Blade's Claw, Toughness, and 1 damage. So the 1 damage doesn't matter as much because you can always roll for damage with the Blade's Claw. And it has a range of 4. So I wonder who generates this Killer Robot. We didn't pull a character that does so. Again, as you purchase your X of Swords product, do not forget to pick up the amazing dice and token sets. Bye-bye, everyone, and may the rolls be with you. Cock dice.